Okay guys, got a kind of weird one here. Hope it helps somebody out. So what's going on is the customer or so the customer had somebody change rotors and brakes. And the complaint was that um, it felt like the caliper was stuck. Like it was, uh, it, the brakes were working I guess, but they weren't uh, retracting, like it had a sticky caliper. And so they wanted to know what they did wrong and they brought it in. Well, one of the common mistakes on this is people add brake fluid. I never add brake fluid and the reason is was because every time that your brakes get wore, as this pad gets thinner, then it takes up, creates more space and so it takes more fluid pressure. And there's enough in this reserve to make up for all that difference. So what happened here was the brakes were getting worn and it looked like it needed fluid when they checked their fluid and they added some. Another, I don't know, a thousand miles down the road, brakes are getting worn, 5,000 miles, whatever it is and they add a little more fluid. So what happens eventually is the brake shoe here is so thin, the piston for the caliper is out halfway instead of at the edge, it's halfway out to keep pressure up against it. And then one day they say, you know what, they're bad, let's get them changed. And they replace the rotors or brakes as needed and they press that cylinder back in order to put the thicker shoe in there. When they press it back, all that fluid gets pushed back into here. Now, instead of being at the max level, it's all the way at the top of the neck. They don't look at that because you don't have to bleed the brakes if you just press the caliper back, which is what they did. So when I checked it and I pulled them off and I, I just used those to press the caliper back, I then popped the cap on the reservoir and had to use this little turkey syringe here and I needed to drain some of that out. So the reason is, is because now it's so full, it takes too long to push back and there's too much pressure in there almost not enough pressure to where the pistons will relax and the calipers will open back up. So after you change the brakes, and, and during it too, while you're pressing that, pull the lid off if you're gonna do the brace yourself. Just pull the master cylinder cap off. Then if it overfills, it'll push it out. You're not building any pressure. And it's easier to collapse that brake. And use the old brake pad up against the cylinder so that way if you ruin the brake pad, it doesn't matter, you're changing it to the new ones. So push it back, let the fluid go back up then come up here and look, and if it's too full at that point when you're done with the brakes, pump your brakes three times, then check it. If it's too full, drain out what you don't want because then the calipers will have room to relax and open back up when you let off the brakes. I hope that makes sense. Please click like, please click subscribe, click on my name underneath this video for all my other how-to videos. And as always, guys, enjoy.